import of goods, export of goods, import of services, export of services, these are one of the major business in the UAE. So treatment of this kind of services in the UAE VAT, VAT return also very important to know for all of us. So today we are going to discuss import export of goods as well as services. Let us see how the treatment of import and export in the VAT law as well as how it has to be disclosed in the 201 form in the UAE VAT return. First we will be discussing on export of goods. Let us understand what is export of goods. To understand tax applicability on export of goods, we have to know what is the place of supply of goods. So now we are going to discuss what is place of supply of goods. The place of supply rule. The place of supply rule shall be determined based on whether the place of supply is within the UAE or outside the UAE. So there is basic rule for the supply, place of supply of goods. That is, at the time of supply of goods, where the goods are located, that is the place of supply of the goods. That is the basic rule of the goods. There are some special rules. They are cross-border supplies in which the supplies involves parties in different countries, water and energy, real estate. In this cases, some special rules are applicable. At the same time, the basic rule of place of supply is the place where the goods are located at the time of supply takes place. See here, domestic supplies. In domestic supply, the goods are moving from one place in the UAE to another place in the UAE, one location to another location within the UAE. There is no movement of goods outside the UAE. Here VAT is applicable with applicable rate, that is say the 5% or zero rate as the case may be. Here in the picture also you can see that goods are moving from Abu Dhabi to Dubai. Goods are delivered and collected within the UAE, so tax is applicable in the UAE. Now let us take different scenario. Suppose the goods are moving from Dubai to another country. For example, from the UAE it is exporting to UK. As you have seen in the slide, in the case of export, as per the place of supply rule, the place of supply is UA. But what will be the rate of tax? Yes, in the case of export, even though the place of supply is UA, rate of tax is zero rated. There are two types of exports. One, direct export. The other one, indirect export. Direct export. In this case, the supplier is responsible for arranging transport. There are two conditions to be satisfied to consider an export. In this case, the goods are to be physically exported from the UAE to outside. The other condition is that there should be official as well as commercial evidence of export and is to be retained by the exporter. If these two conditions are satisfied, then only it will be considered an, as an export for considering as a zero rated supply. The second case is indirect export. In this case, the overseas customer arranges for the collection of the goods from the supplier in the UAE and he himself exports or through an agent he exports the goods. There are certain conditions to be satisfied to consider as an indirect exports which is eligible to consider for zero rated. The conditions are 1. The goods should be physically exported from the UAE. There should be an official and commercial evidence of such export which is to be retained by the supplier. During the period of export, the goods should not be used or should not be altered by the exporter and another condition the goods should not be leaving the state in the position of a passenger or crew member of an aircraft if these four conditions are satisfied then only it will be considered as an indirect export as we have seen in the slide to consider any supply as an export there should be a commercial as well as official document 
So these documents are to be de retained by the supplier. So what is an official document? Official document is a document which is issued by the authority, that is the government authority here, customs department, is a proof that goods are moving from UAE to outside the UAE. This official document is mandatory. It is normally issued by the government authority. Second one is the commercial evidence. What is commercial evidence? While doing the shipment, we get the bill of lighting. If it is through flight, airway bill. Like that, airway bill, consignment note, bill of lighting, or certificate of shipment. These are the documents to be retained by the import, by the by the exporter, by the supplier to prove that these are the supply, those supplies are export. There are some cases where goods are not at all coming to UAE. Sales are happening outside the UAE. For example, the supplier may be in China and the customer may be in USA. The distributor is located in the UAE. The distributor will make the order to collect goods from China and directly ship this to the customer located in USA. In this case, this is not a taxable supply in the UAE because at the time of supply, the goods are located outside the UAE. That is the basic rule of place of supply. Since goods are outside the UAE, place of supply is outside, it is not a taxable supply in the UAE. It is out of scope from the tax point of view in the UAE. See, this is the UAE VAT return form number 201. The first part is the output VAT and this is the second part that is input VAT. Now let us see how it has to be disclosed in the UAE VAT return form. During the tax period, for example, 2 million is exported to UK. Actually, it is zero rated supply. So in the UAE VAT return form, as you can see, in the line number four or the box number four, we have to disclose the value of export, that is 2 million. It is zero rated, so there is no column for the tax to write. So 2 million will be displayed on box number four. So far we were discussing about the export of goods. Now let us see how export of services are to be treated. For many of the business, the export of services little confusing clause. Whether it is taxable in the UAE or not taxable in the UAE. Let us, have, let us see how the law is applicable here. To consider whether the VAT is applicable for any service, any export of services or not, we have to look into what is a place of supply of services. Place of supply rules shall be determined based on whether the supply is made in the UAE or outside the UAE for that purpose. Place of supply of services shall be as follows. There is a basic rule. The basic rule says that the place of supply is where the supplier has the place of residence. That means where the place of residence of the supplier, that is a place of supply of services. But there are some special rules, example cross-border supplies, that is export of services or electronically supplied services or the telecommunication services. For this kind of services, it's where the services enjoyed. So such a special rules are applicable, but the basic rule is where the supplier has the place of residence. That is a basic rule, that is a place of supply of services. There's a special point which we have to look into as per the Article 30, Section 2 of the VAT, UA VAT law. The place of supply of services supplied by a person that is not resident in the UAE to a registered business resident in the UAE is UAE. That is, if a non-resident is supplying services to a person registered in the UAE, the place of supply will be UAE. Then tax is applicable in the UAE for such services. So the basic rule says that the place of supply 
in the case of services are the place of residence of the supplier. At the same time, there is a special rule applicable here as per the clause number 2 of the Article 30 of the UAVAT law, that is Federal Law Number 8. If the services provided by a non resident to a registered person in the UAE or to a person who is registered in the UAE, the place of supply will be UAE. That means if anyone is providing the service from overseas to a person registered for VAT in the UAE, the place of supply will be UAE and UAE VAT tax will be applicable. There are special rules applicable for identifying the place of supply in the case of services. Some of them are, one is installation of goods. In the case of installation of goods, place of supply shall be where the service is performed, where the installation service is performed. Another one, in the case of supply of restaurant, hotel, catering services, etc., where the actual performance of the services. In the case of real estate services, the place of supply will be where the real estate is located. In the case of transport services, where the transport begins. In the case of means of transport, the place of supply of a means of transport to a person not registered for VAT in the UAE is the where the goods are put at the disposal of the recipient. That means if any non-resident comes in the UAE and get a means of transport, the place of supply will be UAE. If such means of transport is delivered outside the UAE, the place of supply will be outside the UAE. In the case of telecommunications and electronic services, the place of sub supply will be where the service is actually enjoyed by the recipient. In the case of cultural, artistic, sporting, education or similar services, the place of supply will be where the service is actually performed. The export of services will be zero rated if the following conditions are satisfied. One, the recipient of service should not have a place of residence in the UAE and he should be outside the UAE when the service is performed. If these two conditions are satisfied, the export of service will be zero rated. At the same time, we have to look into in the case of real estate, if the real if the service is real uh, related to a real estate located in the UAE, it will not be an export of services. It will be a place of supply will be in the UAE. Additionally, the services may also be zero rated if the services are actually performed outside the UAE or arranging of services that are actually performed outside the UAE. Supply consists of facilitation of outbound tour packages those are zero rated. For the purpose of this role, outside the UAE includes a short term presence in the UAE that is less than one month or a presence that is not effectively connected with the supply. That means if any non-resident is reaching in the UAE on one month visiting visa or the tourist visa, that visit should not be considered as for the residence purpose, it will be treated still as outside the UAE. Now let us see how the export of services are to be disclosed in the UAE VAT return form number 201. For example, during the period, 100,000 worth of services done to a foreign company, that is export of services. In this case, as shown in the slide, the line number 4 or the box number 4 will be showing the value of the export that is 100,000 but tax element will not be there because it is zero rated so tax element will not be disclosed in the UAVAT form 201. So far we learned export of services and export of goods and how the transactions are to be recorded in the UAVAT form number 201 as well. Now let us learn how imports are to be treated in the UAVAT return as well as how the law is applicable as far as import is concerned. First let us discuss import of 
गुड्स See in this picture, goods are coming from UK to the UAE. So here, goods are coming from overseas. So the there is a special treatment called reverse charge mechanism. In this case, goods are coming from overseas. The place of supply will be UAE, but tax has to be considered within UAE by the importer. This treatment is called a reverse charge mechanism. The the importer will be responsible to pay the vat for the goods which he is importing into the ue import of goods let us learn with an example suppose 1 million worth of goods are coming from overseas is reaching to the ue port the value caf values 1 million the declared value is 1 million 5% customs duty will be there so 1 million 50000 this is the value to be considered for vat So one million fifty thousand five percent of tax means it will be fifty two thousand five hundred. So the VAT which has to be paid for such import is fifty two thousand five hundred. See, since it has to be recorded under reverse charge, we have to show input tax on import fifty two thousand five hundred as well as the tax payable output tax on import fifty two thousand five hundred. See the UAE VAT return form here. the line number or box number 6 will be displaying the value of goods which already imported that is 1 million 50000 is the declared value with the customs duty that will be automatically disclosing in your uae vat return form and the tax liability of 52500 also will be disclosed this amount which is disclosed which is disclosed under box number 6 can be reversed under box number 10 now we learned how import of goods are to be recorded in the ua vat form and how tax will be applicable for that the same way now let us see how import of services are to be recorded it's very simple in the case of goods goods are coming through ua customs then customs declaration customs record or procedures are there but as far as import of services there is no such formality as and when the invoices received from overseas supplier we are paying them this is import of services see here services imported from uk to the uae reverse charge mechanism will be applicable as per the rule place of supply is uae let us see one example suppose 1 million is imported this is the value of import then it has to be recorded under reverse charge by showing an output vat 50000 on import as well as input vat on import 50000 now let us see how it is displayed in it has to be disclosed in the uae vat return form 201 see box number 3 under box number 3 we have to disclose as the liability 1 million and tax liability 50000 however the same can be reversed under box number 10 1 million and 50000 so the net effect will be zero but effect we have to disclose this figures in the return form now let us see if one import and one import of goods and one import of services is there together if it is happening how it has to be recorded in the uae vat return form for example import of goods is 1 million and import of services are 1 million in this case under the box number 3 1 million will be displayed and 50000 will be the tax liability under line number 6 automatically 1 million 50000 will be displayed and 52500 is the tax liability both amount can be reversed under box number 10 or line number 10 2 million 50000 and the tax liability can be reversed 1 million 102500 hence the net tax payable on import of service as well as import of goods will be nil today we have discussed what is import of goods import of services export of goods export of services and the tra- tax treatment in as per the uae vat law and how it has to be disclosed in the uae vat return form number 201 hope it's clear for every one of you if you need any support emra shattered accountants is always available to help you thank you thank you for watching our video for latest updates on vat 
please do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, Emirates Chartered Accountants Group. And please follow us in our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus and Pinterest. Thank you.